Hey guys, Master Max Fly here, and today I'm going to show you 12 easy magic tricks featuring cards, coins, oranges, pretty much a lot of household objects. Let's get on to the first one. Okay, guys, the first magic trick is a card trick. The only one, the only card trick. So, I have a volunteer here. And he just wants to be anonymous, so I won't mention his name or anything. Okay, so volunteer, please pick a card. Any card. The deck has been shuffled by the volunteer, so it's not rigged. Right, show the camera. Right. Now, we split in three piles. Okay. Pick a pile. Now I flip the deck around and I place down cards until I think I have seen the card that the volunteer has chosen. So I keep going, strolling through the cards. Right, your card has already passed by. Right? Yes. Okay. Hmm. It is one of these cards. Yes. Right. It is one of these cards. It's not the ten. It's not the jack. Not the nine. Not the four of diamonds. It is is not the free. Your card is a four of hearts. Indeed. Alright, you showed on the camera. So now how did I do the trick? Yes you can wave now. So the way the trick is done is quite easy actually. So let's get all the cards back. You don't want any jokers while doing this. That's why I've left them out. Right, so all you do, the, the deck can be shuffled, but all you got to do is know the bottom card. So right now it's the Queen of Hearts. So, the volunteer picks any card. Any card. It, it doesn't matter what card it is. Say they pick this one, what card is it? It's the Seven of Hearts. So now, that this, this card would normally be the other way around. You do three piles, like this. And you gotta make sure look the queen of hearts is at the bottom of this deck and you gotta make sure that they do not pick this deck if they do then just say uh, just take the card on the top and then cut it and then put this one on top because the point is they want the queen of hearts to go on top of seven of hearts so let's say you pick the middle power Basically, want to put this pile on first. This way. Now, if you do this, it's this way. The seven of hearts would appear after the queen of hearts. But if you do it this way, then it will that you will have the seven of hearts and then the queen of hearts. Look, pretty basic card trick. Yeah, seven of hearts, queen of hearts. Now when you see this card, you know that a card before it is their card. So you just carry on. And then just say, right, I know you have I know this you have seen your card already. And you do it's just about presentation, the rest. So on to the next trick. Right. Second trick. This one is making a ball ping pong ball literally appear. Right. So here we have just a little pot nothing in it actually kind of like a black cylinder right now we turn it around hit it a couple times push into it and then out comes the ping pong ball now how did you do it how did I do it 
Right, so to do this trick, what you need is a little black sponge, a black little pot, and the ping pong ball. Basically, get the black pot before you even go to your volunteer. Put the ping pong ball in, and the sponge. People will not suspect that there's actually anything in there. Trust me, they do not suspect anything. I've done this with a lot of people before. And then you just do turn that around, hit it a bit, and nothing will happen. And then when you push, basically you want to push the sponge into the bottom so that the ball is on the top, but not showing them what's happening, and then the ball will fall out. And it looks like it's magically bit. And make sure the black sponge is right at the bottom so we they don't suspect that it was actually anything to do no no actually what i mean is put the black sponge back to the top it's a bit hard as there's no ping pong ball in there this time put it back on the top and it looks like nothing's actually happened there and that's how you make a ping pong ball magically right the first magic trick involves an ordinary orange nothing special about this orange right as it's so ordinary hold it in my hand hold it in my hand and has literally just stopped flying we you know how I did it it's quite basic but still not in the orange nothing's wrong with it no not really uh, basically there's a hole at the back stick your thumb in like this and then hold it basically make sure that the front of the person is like that so the person will be on that side not on that side or else they will see your thumb stuck and it looks like it floats to be honest it really does just look that that just looks so amazing you can also make magical gestures to make it look more awesome yeah that's how easy and if basically take it off before they suspect something and they'll be like, oh, it was just on your finger. Basically, hold your thumb over the gap when you're showing them that there's nothing special but the orange. And they don't suspect they are blocking the hole. And you can show it to them again. Right, next, next trick. Right, this next trick involves just a piece of paper and magic. Watch. Watch closely. It's gone. It is so gone. And now, ta da! What? It, it's actually magic. Or is it? Mm -hmm. It's just stuck in my finger when you move it up. Look, look this way. You can see how I hold it like that, and then I just go, yeah, and hide it behind my finger. It could go like this. You can also make people think you swallow it, look. <coughs> Ta-da! Right, how'd you do it? Glue. You gotta, you gotta glue it just above and on your nail, like that. And you go bam, 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 bam. Right, next trick. Right, the fifth trick involves a uh, coin. Any type is good. I've got a 5 here. Works. Oh, yeah. 
I'm going to show two of coins. This is the first one. Right. Yeah, one of coin. Perfectly normal coin. Nothing special about it. So I'm going to put it in this hand. It's going to vanish. Watch. Okay. Put it in my hand. Poof. Not there anymore. It's not here either. Where is it? It appears in my pocket. How do I do it? Right, this is a very basic. You know how I was passing it here? Yeah, so now it's in this hand, right? No, it's not. It's in this one. Basically, what you do is you see how, oops, see how my hand is flat? When I put my coin here, I cover it up, I really take the coin back. So without the wall, this is what it looks like. Yeah, so you're just going to place the walls, make people think that you have it in this hand where it's not there and you quickly put it in your pocket or the other hand so it's not in this hand or this hand comes out in your pocket so easy well, next right, as I said there's going to be two coin ones yeah, coin one, same coin right, this one you want to Place the coin in between your thingy there. It's easier with two P coin. So you have it like that. Then I'm gonna push the coin in. I'm gonna push the coin in. Alright, now it's still in here. Hand poof. It's in here. How did I do it? And you hold it here, you hold it like this, and then when you push it in with your thumb, you catch it in this one, and you look where people think it's in here, bam, it goes in there. So basic. Right, next trick. Right, seventh magic trick is just use any kind of stone or something small in your hand, like this. I'm going to use my gem. Alright. In my hand, I'm close. It's still in my hand, and poof, it's not in there anymore. Awesome, hey? But guess what? It's in my other hand. How do I do it? Basic. I put it in my hand. I just wait. I have my hand holding here, and when I covered, I let it go, and I caught it, but. You gotta be careful, you gotta make it roll down your hand and then into your hand, other hand. But it's quite tricky to do. So, you probably won't do it first time, so. Yeah. Hey guys, ninth magic trick. For this one, you need the coin and a tennis ball. Balance the tennis ball on the coin. And you also need two napkins or paper towels. Carve the tennis ball and the coin, and we go. Bam. Oh, well, you're gonna need three then. Sorry, I'm so sorry that that went wrong. And bam! Well, it looks like tennis ball is gone. But where did it go? Here it is. Right, how did you do this magic trick? You need. Three napkins for it and tennis ball and a coin. The coin is just for it as distraction. So you put the coin and the tennis ball on. Then you put two napkins on. And you cover the tennis ball, yes. Then you just lift the tennis ball and you see the coin is still there and you're like, oh no, that went wrong. Well you need three then. So you pick up your first one. No, uh, this is all a distraction. Yeah. No. You lift it up again and the coin is still there and you're like, oh. And when you're over here, you drop the tennis ball. But you try to keep the shape of the napkins. As you see, I've dropped the tennis ball. And then you just go, oh, well, no tennis ball. And see, the coin is just a distraction. Now, that's how you do it. So, on to right, the tenth. tenth magic trick. Have a 10p. Right. Now... We take it in this hand, yeah, 10p goes in that hand, 
burn in pocket it turns into a 5p what you say what you say that that was, that was it was already in my pocket yeah check it out now it's a 10p and there's nothing else in there yeah but you're in the pocket and comes out a 5p how do you do it i have 5p and 10p at the beginning you had the 5p behind the 10p at the beginning of the trick i put it in my pocket and then you take out the 5p and the next time put it in the 5p behind the 10p again and then I show you that there's nothing else in my pocket because there really ain't. And I put it in again, comes out the five. And people get fooled. So that was really the last coin trick. Alright, well, one more and I'm leaving a grand special for right. it. The pre the penultimate trick, the eleventh trick. So this one I have a ball. Now, hold it. Yes, in my hand. And it's not in any hand. Where is it? Here. Right, this is a very basic one. Just holding it in my hand. I pick it up. Yes, it's actually in my hand. And I stop doing this. And I drop it on to the left side of my chair when I want to do it. And I'm sure nothing's there. Yeah, so grand finale. This is the grand finale of the tricks. I've got my volunteer here again and I'm going to make him disappear while he's sitting on this chair. So I'm going to cover him with this blue blanket and then I'm going to pull it off and he will vanish. And he wants to be in my house. Right, okay. So our first step is cover our assistant and volunteer. Okay, say hello, wave. Now, so we all know he's actually still there. No, don't show your hand. Okay, yes. Okay, count. Three, two, one. No, 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 Okay, okay, okay. In a moment, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. Magic, he's gonna vanish. He's really gonna vanish. It's gonna be so good. Okay, three. One and bam! He is gone from existence. He's vanished. Now the reveal. Come on, let's make him. Right, so that was the grand finale. I know. Right, this is the explanation. I'm gonna stop of how to do the grand finale of how to get our assistant to disappear so assistant come here again this time we'll do it at a different angle so you can see everything that happened so as normal i come and cover him no i sorry wrong wrong way now I cover you. 